So the question was that uh, be it Sobita and Raman Raghav, Tapsi and Manmarsiya, Bhumi and Govinda and now Sara and Zara Hatke, uh, why are you not getting along with your on-screen girlfriends and wives? You do. This person is sitting in the house. I... Big, big question. Bhagawan, who is in life, gives us a soul in every life. So when my real life has become so short, that Katrina has got a girl, then they said, brother, that in your real life will always be bad, but I will sort it in real life. So this is the balance of life. Thank you. You're enough of these guys. Where's another question here? Where's another question? Right there, ma'am. Right there. What's her name, ma'am? Vijay Lakshmi. Can we hand over a mic to her, please? Vijay Lakshmi, who is the question for? For Sara. For Sara. Hi, Sara. Uh, Hello. Good afternoon. I'm from Free Press Journal. My question to you is uh, whether it was uh, Mukku in Kedarnath or Rinku in Atrangi rape, people have somewhere accepted you. There's always a relatability factor whenever you become a girl from the small town of India. You think um, these kind of roles uh, give you a little more edge as a performer? See, honestly, ma'am, I don't know if it's about edge, but honestly, like all like jokes apart, the truth is that I really relate to the pulse of my country very strongly. I've always grown up thinking of myself as a Indian Desi girl from Juhu that lives with Mama and doesn't really have frills and fancies in any filmy, you know, even friends, really, to be honest. So one has always grown up not just knowing, but also being very proud of my Indianness. But I think that's a more personal thing. I think what you're asking me is ultimately it's Gattu sir's vision or Ananji's guidance or Lakshman sir's instruction that makes me feel like a character that you can relate to. I think that's what it really is all about, at least for me. <laughs> 